Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese. Hello, Zombie Cat. And this is our review of the Marvel Legends 6 inch X Men figure of Deadpool. And there he is in the package. And if you watched my Rogue review, you know that I couldn't find the two pack 6 inch Deadpool that came with Warpath. I never was able to find it. Couldn't even find the color variant. And I also couldn't find, well, I was never able to get the original Toy Biz 6 inch Legends. So I'm really glad they made this because I really wanted a 6 inch Marvel Legends Deadpool. And I think this one is even better than the last two that they came out with. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And I like what they did with the packages. This is the first time they did anything like this on the, uh, the Marvel Legends packaging. They like, added these little cartoons and stuff. Like Deadpool even drew little hearts pointing to himself. <laughs> and then a little picture of him. It says, I date me. And then I don't know what all those other languages is. So just, I date me in different languages. I don't know. Yeah, I got all these, ordered them all on Entertainment Earth. You have to buy them all to build a juggernaut. But what's weird about this series is that Deadpool does not come with a juggernaut piece. And I guess it's because it has so, so many... So much shit! Yeah, it's just kind of weird. I want to open them, hurry up! <laughs> oh well! <laughs> but... And he comes with a taco! But that's weird that he doesn't come with a piece. And there's a picture of him on the side. And all of them have an X at the top except for Deadpool's, which has a little Deadpool symbol. Because he's awesome. Nah, let's open it up. So there he is, I'll open up. And he looks amazing. <laughs> he is like almost the perfect Deadpool figure. I'm really happy with him. Like the only thing that bothers me that I noticed right away was his guns. This gun's okay, the rocket launcher. But these guns, these guns look like cheap dollar store guns you get with one of them figures. They it's just, because they didn't paint them at all. They're just painted one color. It's not just that. The sculpt is shitty looking. Oh, that one is. The other ones I didn't think were just bad, but that one's weird looking. No, that, even the handguns aren't very good. If you look at other Marvel Legends guns, they're just yeah. very plain and really cheap looking. <laughs> they're probably like, we're making a lot of accessories, so just, like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sucks. I got so many guns in my little Marvel Legends box that... I don't even know who some of them go to anymore, so I can just stick them in them and some of them in there if I want to do. You should, you should give them good guns. Yeah. <laughs> I like this rocket launcher he comes with. It has a little boxing glove attached to it. <laughs> so is it actually supposed to explode when it hits somebody or it just punches them in the face? <laughs> it probably just punches them really uh -huh. hard. <laughs> well, that works. But that's a cool little rocket launcher. I like the glove, it actually spins around. Oh, it comes off too. I don't know. Can you stick it on his hand? I wonder if you could put that into his hand. I'm gonna try that out. Well, his hand don't want to come out, so I don't think that's gonna work. Well, he doesn't have interchangeable hands, does he? No. Maybe you're not supposed to pull them out. Maybe not, but sometimes they just come out anyway. Oh, he fell. You just keep dumping them. And here's his taco. Just surprisingly well detailed. I know, it I looks know. like a fucking taco. No, I kind of want to eat the little thing. Don't eat it. I'm not going to eat it. Don't get indigestion. <laughs> From this little thing? From plastic. Here's this katanas, which are really Those nice. Look pretty good, yeah. I like the way they painted the handles. Even the sculpt on the handles looks really cool. They kind of look like a Michonne katana, but different colors. Yeah. <laughs> Black and red instead of brown and white. I'm pretty happy at these. I mean, it'd be nice if they're a little shinier, but they never really do that with these figures. Yeah. And there's, there's a sheath on the back, which are really nice. You can stick these down in there like that. And you stick out the bottom a little bit, which seems kind of dangerous. Poke I would definitely stab myself in the ass if that was me. I guess it don't really matter with him, because he would just heal from it. <laughs> Probably think there's something biting his butt. <laughs> and you're pointing out, I really like his little pinky finger sticking out. Mm-hmm. Especially with the taco in his hands. <laughs> Being fancy. <laughs> and I like that a bunch of his weapons have places to put them. You gotta put his swords back there. You can stick both of his handguns into these holsters. Then he comes with this big knife that you can stick down into there. The knife isn't too bad. It's plain, but knives are, are pretty much plain, so... Yeah. And you're mentioning his boots. Because he has some cool boots. Yeah, I like. I was saying, I like those boots, and I was saying, why don't they make 
boots buckles on them anymore. <laughs> yeah, I really like them. I think they made a really awesome outfit. And I wouldn't say this is, I don't think this is the movie version. This is just Deadpool from the comics. I mean, it could no, be. No, I don't think it looks like the movie version. Especially not the, uh, the head that's on my head. It's definitely not the movie head. The head that's on your head? On my head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I almost forgot about that because he's stuck it up. <laughs> I stole it. He also comes with the unmasked head, which looks like Freddy Krueger. Did you actually see that in the movie? That it, he looks kind of like Freddy Krueger. But he's got his big grin and his he yellow eyes. He looks like uh, Freddy Krueger fucked a topical map of an avocado. <laughs> that was... <laughs> I'm just mixing all the ones they said together. <laughs> but let's pop his head off. Get on there. This head's a little more difficult to stick on than some... What is that? I'm actually going to take these swords out. I feel like I might slip and break them. You know. I might have to hurt you. It's my toy. It's our toy. Well, I can't get this head on. Oh, this all my skill. Don't get a good head. <laughs> I have two heads. <laughs> what? There he is with that on. <laughs> Definitely not going to display him like this, but it is an awesome option. Because it's funny seeing him with the big grin on his face with his burned up <laughs> skin and everything. Yeah, I definitely like both heads. They did a really good job on this version. This is probably the one that maybe you should he should be holding the taco with. But I'll probably have his mask on and holding the taco, so I don't care. I'm pretty sure at some point he's probably tried to eat a taco with his mask on. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think this might sound weird, but I think my favorite thing about this head is how nice of a job they did on his teeth. Yeah, they are pretty good. Because there are some figures that have their, their mouth open with their teeth and it just looks weird. Like that Harley. <laughs> that Harley that you just reviewed. Her teeth. I like he, he thought that they were supposed to be braces. I'm like, no, in the picture it's not braces. Her teeth are just fucked up. Mm -hmm. I don't get why they did that. <laughs> but, yeah, that's... That's a cool option. They did a nice job of painting it, sort of. <laughs> we need to get a second one so we can have both. Because <laughs> I like both of them. Yeah, I wonder if it'll be hard to find. That's why I pre-ordered, just in case, for mm -hmm. Rogue and for him. But, yeah, I like that. I like his expression. It'd be cool if he came with another masked head with another expression, but... Yeah, like a goofy expression instead of angry. Most of them is goofy. That's angry. It's angry goofy. One eye is like big and the other small like he's making a goofy angry face. At least that's what I see. <laughs> I think it just looks angry. I don't know. It's giving you the stink eye. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, see look that gun just makes the figure look cheap there. Like he's yeah, all he super definitely needs better guns. <laughs> he's super detailed, and then his gun it just looks like the dollar tree I would tree say, guns. though, the br the brown parts, like the the belt, the uh, the leg holster, and the backpack, the brown parts aren't yeah, they, painted very well. They could be, they're not painted at all. They could have a little bit of shading on there. So he also comes with this weapon, which is really cheap looking. I don't like it. There's a bunch of Punisher weapons that I got would go perfect with him. I would say that one is the worst one. This one? No, the last one. Yeah. That's like, the worst that in looking there, weapon. Just, that looks so cheap. Maybe this it's was just a the rush. whole design of it doesn't look realistic at all. And then there's this, which is also kind of, eh. I don't even know if he can hold that properly. But the swords are good, so that's good. Mm -hmm. So there's the two little guns. And I just I really don't like them. <laughs> yeah, now that you got them out and I'm looking at them, they're very unimpressive. Like, you, like sculpt right there is almost not even there. Like, where that's supposed to be, like, sort of textured there. It's, it's just... like one step away from just being a cut-out shape of a gun. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. So I like the way they painted his costume. Like, it doesn't look like they did shading or anything, but I still think it looks really good. The sculpt works really good. I like the sculpt a lot. And it's a decent color of red too because I've seen some that are like it's just not the right color of red and it looks weird. Yeah. And the black too. Because when I compare them to the Marvel Select Deadpool they didn't really paint 
him black very well. It was like more of like a gray, and I didn't like that. Yeah. So here he's actually red and black, so that's good. It's not a bright red, but it's still, I'm still happy with it. Oh, yeah, it's and kind there's, of like a brick red, at least it's not maroon. Yeah. There's a little Deadpool symbol on his belt. So I think it's sometimes a teleporter. I don't think he used... No, he didn't use that in the movie. I don't even know if he had it in the movie. I mean, he had that on his belt, but it, he wasn't teleporting, so... <laughs> I don't think he needs that. You don't need to teleport. <laughs> He's got enough going on. And now for articulation. Some of it's hindered by this, these parts here, but... For the most part, I think he's going to be really well articulated. He's got a double jointed knee. And he can spin there. Probably kick himself in the face. Uh, well, if he has to bend his leg backwards. Um, I'm pretty sure he can do that. And then he can spin down there. Then at the ankle, he can do that. Spin, tilt, all kinds of shit. And he can spin there at the waist, I think. Ooh, he just stuck. Yeah, he can. Don't be breaking him. We can go back and forward there. It's, well, I think it's... Well, it's not hindered at all. I thought it would be. Yeah, that's pretty good. And up at the shoulders. You can go like that. Spin there. Double jointed elbows. Which is cool, because not all of the Marvel Legends have double jointed elbows, but this one does. You can spin at the wrist, although it's stuck. Okay, there we go. Bend there. And the head can look all around. <laughs> Which is awesome. <laughs> Make him look up, he's got a really bad Adam's apple all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> but here's where I think it might be hindered a little. Maybe not. Not too bad. I thought it would be. I don't think so. Okay, guess it's not. So he doesn't really have any That's hindrances. That's pretty awesome that it doesn't get in the way. Yeah. So his articulation is awesome because he should be a super, like a Spider-Man type articulated figure. So I'm happy with the articulation on him. Also there he is with his katanas. So they fit in his hand really nicely. And he's still got his little pinky finger up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that pinky finger. <laughs> there he is holding these two big shitty guns. <laughs> They look kind of cool if you just look at him and don't really look at the guns. They're not... Yeah, they are. I was going to say they're not horrible, but they kind of are. A little bit. So there he is, getting ready to stab somebody. Very fancily. Hiya! <laughs> we didn't really look at his belts very much. But there you can see those grenades hanging there. They don't come off. He's got all those pockets. Which I wonder what's in all those pockets, because they're probably very silly things. You'd think there'd be, like, weapons and stuff in there, but it's bright as goofy shit. <laughs> got bullets in one and, like, maybe some crushed Cheetos in the other or something. <laughs> now time for some comparisons. And this is my very first Deadpool figure I ever got. And... Woo! That looks fancy. <laughs> yeah, but look, he has a special feature. Look at that weird knife. <laughs> guess... <laughs> but look what it can do. That looks like look. one of those silly pumpkin, pumpkin carving knives they yeah. sell you in a kit. It goes into your body. <laughs> but I got another Deadpool. This is what I knew a little more, but still didn't really care about him. <laughs> and uh, he had a removable mask. So you can see his burned up face. <laughs> I think this weird little sleeve thing. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be ripped like in the middle, but it's yeah. still staying on. I don't know why they made him battle damage. That's just stupid. <laughs> Swords all bent. Oh, look at his little wig on the other side. Oh. <laughs> so this is kind of a shitty Deadpool figure. I also got two of the little Marvel Universe or Marvel Legends, whatever you call them, Deadpools. This one I got a while ago, and then Fu sent me this gray they're version. Not too bad for what they are. No, they're not bad for the little figures. Mhm. Mm but they're little. <laughs> Sword things are so big on them. Yeah, they are really big. Turn them around and show the back. <laughs> I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> now this one's really similar to the one that was in the two pack. Like it looked a lot like this one, or maybe like even like this one. But yeah. well, I like the one we have better. Yeah. <laughs> now this is the one that I was happy about when it was announced, and then when I got it, I was like, oh. <laughs> what is wrong with his head? 
I don't know. I don't like this one. His head is very square, and his face is just fucking weird. And it's like, he doesn't even have a face. How did you fuck it up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just looks too serious, and, um... And squished. Yeah. His head is just shaped wrong, the whole thing. And these parts right here are supposed to be black, and they painted them gray. Like a medium gray. It's like, why did they paint them that color? Well, even the other parts that are black are still a little bit gray. Yeah. No, his guns look a lot nicer than this one's. Yeah. And he, uh, Give him the shitty guns. Fuck him. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and they did a better job on his better job on his pockets and things like that. And shading his muscles. But this figure just kinda sucks. His articulation I mean if you just stand him or like at he's not he's not too bad, but his articulation isn't very good for it should be Deadpool super articulation. <laughs> it's just it's got nice Double jointed knees, but they don't help you much when you can't really move his hips around. It's the worst thing on this one is his hips are just stuck. And he can spin, but not very much. And he seems a little too muscular in his arms. Yeah, his shoulders like hit and they won't go up. So, I mean, this figure's okay. I just. And it was also. He was taller than most of the other Marvel Select figures, and that was kind of weird. I would say he's not com completely horrible, but in comparison to the one we just got, is way fucking better than him. Yeah. He was good to have while I was waiting on this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there he is next to a couple banks. There's a bus bank and a big head bank. That one's mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you always claim everything's yours. I didn't say this one was mine. This one is, though. <laughs> well, pfft. Now some comparisons to some other superheroes, Marvel Legends characters. Someone that I think Deadpool considers a good friend, but even though Spider-Man's a goofball who is always joking around, I think even he's annoyed by Deadpool, which is pretty bad. Spider-Man, Peter. And here's another person he annoys and sometimes fights. Wolverine with his bent leg. <laughs> Wolverine is too fucking serious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the two of them would never get along. They have some similar powers, like healing abilities and stuff. And poking people with stabby things. There's also a Wolverine in this series, but I haven't opened them yet, so that's why I'm comparing them to this one. Another person that I think Deadpool likes a lot, but also he really annoys, is the Punisher. <laughs> <laughs> they like killing... Another super fucking serious guy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that gun. That'd be a cool one for... That pool to have. He did a good job of that gun. What's his handgun look like? Well, that's eh. kind of shitty too. <laughs> I think it's better than Deadpool's, but still shitty. Yeah. And there he is next to Captain America and Star Lord. And I showed them him next to them because of when the Deadpool movie came out, Chris Evans and Chris Pratt both <laughs> tweeted to Dead to a Ryan Reynolds good job or whatever. So that's kind of why I'm showing them there. It'd be cool if they could all be in a movie together, but I'm not sure if that'll happen because Deadpool's in a different studio. But so is Spider-Man's, and they worked that out. <laughs> and here's Deadpool next to Harley Quinn, which it's a popular thing in the internet to show these two together or saying they should be together. Especially if they're red and black, and then they're both kind of crazy, and it seems like they would get along, but... I think Harley would annoy him a lot. Annoy Deadpool? Yeah, I think she would. I don't know. Because he annoys literally everyone else, but I think when he was around somebody who's actually insane, they would drive him crazy. He's insane, too. He not in the same way. I guess not. He wasn't as insane, as insane in the movie as I think he should have been. And there's Deadpool next to Deathstroke. Or you could say it's Way Wilson next to Slade Wilson. <laughs> Because Deadpool is supposed to be a parody of Deathstroke. And uh, Deathstroke is very serious. And uh, they do have similar fighting skills. They both like to use guns and swords and that sort of thing. And even their outfit is somewhat similar in a way. Although this is the uh, Arkham Origins version. He looks much more armored than usual. But yeah, it's like rumored that they're brothers, but they can't really ever say that because they're from two different comic companies, and DC might not really want to agree to that either. <laughs> so, I'm really happy with this figure. I think it's the best Deadpool 6-inch figure that has been made. 
It's definitely the best Deadpool figure we have. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I think it's awesome. I think the sculpt on him is awesome. The paint, except for on his belts and stuff, aren't very good. And his guns suck. His, yeah, it's good. most of his guns suck, except for the rocket launcher, which is pretty cool with that. I like his alternate head, but I won't be using it. I really like that he comes with a taco. His katanas are really awesome. Oh, and I like his little pinky finger sticking up on his hand. <laughs> yes! That's one of the best things about him. I don't know, he's a pretty awesome figure. Yeah, I really like him. So, this mystery of cheese. And I'm Zombie Cat. Thanks for watching and good luck. Tell me something. Do you bleed? Wait, hold up guys, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey! Here, let me, let me step up there with you. Scoot in there. Can you move over a little bit? There we go. So guess what guys, guess what? Marvel Studios and Fox worked out a deal so I can be in your superheroes fighting superheroes movie. Now where, where's Spider-Man? Spider-Man's supposed to be here. He's my buddy. I want to hang out with Spider-Man. Superman? Whose team are you on? You on Cap's team or you on Iron Man's team? Batman, you gotta be on Stark's team. You see, you and Stark. Wait a second. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm in the right movie. Wait a second. I don't even think this is a movie. We're, we're freaking toys. We're action figures. Did you know that? I'm no toy. Yeah, you are. Look, look. Oh, oh, well. Oh. Don't want to cut your junk off, but look at that. Look. This, this, you got seams there. Like, look at your arms. You're a freaking toy. I'm a toy. We're toys. This ain't a movie. I don't know what you guys are doing here. Oh, dude, you know what that means? Is there Barbies around here? Hey, whoa, look at that over there. Is that who I think it is? Arnold, Arnold, it's Arnold Everett. Look, Superman, Bats, it's Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Are you out to fight the Predator? Oh boy, the Predator, ah. Holy shit, what is that? That lady don't have any skin on. Like, she's naked, but like, super freaking naked. It's kind of hot, actually. What are you doing? Put her down. It's obviously a victim of the Joker. Victim? That's one of the hottest girls I've ever seen in my life. Look at her. Look at them boobies. Come on, girl. We're gonna go get us some tacos. Maybe watch some reruns of Golden Girls. Yeah. Oh, damn it, man. You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe, Nate. Oh. Damn it!